I wouldn't go for a note. Okay, hold a minute. Hi, Never everybody. <laughs> We're talking about telephones over here. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> We're back in Medieval Dynasty with Kempis. And Kempis, did you see the, 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 this grew? The hot plants grew. The hot plant? Did that, uh, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong way. Last, uh, mm. for those of you who, who weren't here last week, we, we started planting our orchards and we hoed our fields mm. and he planted hops. And now we got trees growing. Yeah. Oh. So we really do have to find someone to take care of the orchards and the fields now, right? Um, why didn't you finish putting out all the carrots? I did. Oh, what carrots? There were no. I no, did. He's, oh, the, he's not the he's guy. Not finished plant. Yeah, he's left half of the field unplanted. Oh, get the whip. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's only getting sacked. <laughs> Definitely getting sacked. But yeah. Well, this I mean, is probably... this looks cool. Yeah, I like these. Slowly developing. Slowly developing. Get your ass to work. <laughs> yeah, you get planting. That's right. Get them blooming plants planted. Oh, I don't have many stone on me, do I? Hey, what happened to all the stuff I had on me? I guess I must have studied it in the resource box. The town's oh, really... The village just looks doing. like it's growing. Oh, we maybe. only... Yeah, okay. I, I need to go in the production box. I think maybe that's where I put all the stones and stuff. Yeah, they'll be in resource storage. Wow, there's 98 logs in here, too. Oh, and I still have stuff on me that I didn't empty. I got 49 pieces of meat on me from killing those two deer. What am I looking for again? Stone. Okay, there we go. Oh, we only have 150 stone. Orderly. I mean, it should be enough to build at least one of the houses. Right. Yeah, I'll take that many and leave them in the box here. Why are you running so slow? Oh, because I don't have that down. Okay. Yeah, that looks cool. I can't wait to see the fields now once they're done. Um, yeah, and I said there was how many logs in there and didn't pick any up. <laughs> so, it looks like we went into another season. Where's our snow? Our snow is gone. Did we... Are we... Yeah, we're, we're actually in spring now. Wow, that that didn't take long, did it? Uh, logs. No. Snow. You know, some people have actually put that amount up. Uh... The seven days, some people have even put it up to ten. I don't know if you'd yeah. want a season that long, though. But three days is like, you better know how to play your game and get this shit ready, because three days goes fast in this game. <laughs> yeah, I put mine up to five, and sometimes I was just spending my time just standing around doing nothing. Oh, okay. There's nothing left to do. Right. I'm going to... Go and see if I can grab some. Say you managed to plant all of this wheat. Why didn't you plant all the carrots? Mm -hmm. Maybe it got dark and he didn't want to work in the dark. Mm. Wonder if we still got carrot seeds. I'll go check. Um, yeah, I need to go and get some more tree seeds as well. To fill up the rest of the plots. Yeah, we still got carrot seeds. Flagger. <laughs> let's grab the money and let's go get the rest of the tree.
Ooh, hi, Frostbite. Hi, Frostbite. Welcome to the stream. Right. How are you doing today? This one is hops, and I need five more hops. Plus. I hope that works, because, yeah. Oh, it worked! Look at Frostbite! It worked! <laughs> Oh, so, yeah. I heard that your channel is growing even though you're not making videos right now. But there you go. Now I have a, a way to tell people to go visit your site. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it works. Did you see what else is missing? The heart crap is missing. I took. I know. I changed it. Uh, Drunk and Dragon... Yeah, you know, I was yelling last week at the stream because that heart was in the way and I couldn't see what the heck everything was being being placed there behind the heart. So uh, Drunken told me how to set up my stream so that that stupid reaction crap ain't there anymore. It worked! You and me actually learned something new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... We were sitting here earlier and talking about telephones. I'm looking to buy a new phone, and my daughter yeah, had a Samsung, but I didn't know what 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 it was. Well, the new newest Samsung that's just come out is the S24. But if you're not bothered about having the newest <clears throat> of the newest, you'll be able to get like the S23 for a lot less money. Um. Uh, is that um, what you have, the S23? I can't remember which one mine is, but I'm due to actually upgrade mine soon. This mine's uh, been paid off for a, a while now. so. Ricky was telling me that the, the that store. there are a couple hundred bucks. I don't remember because it's been a long time since I bought a phone. I had my iPhone for years. In fact, I have I mean, the, the, iPlus, the 7 Plus or 8 Plus I have. I didn't see any reason to upgrade it. I can have a look for you, but I know that the new Samsungs, like the new phones, even the new iPhone, you're yeah, looking at at least a thousand pounds. Really? In America, it's going to be more. Uh, Samsung. For a Samsung? Yeah, because they're, no, they're, they're not just bog standard phones anymore. People don't have cameras or anything because they just got a phone. USA. Uh... Yeah, Samsung US. Let's have a look. Oh, no, I need more sticks. I'm running out of everything. I must have stuck everything in the box no before we left. So what do you think of the village, Frostbite? It uh, it grew a little bit. I know it's not uh, as uh, big as Drunken's is, but we just started. Yeah, I, I, I ran well, out of S24 sticks. S24 series. That's another thing. The S24s now... They come in three different sizes. Oh, good lord. Versions. You've got the the standard S24. You've got the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra. So you just have to look through them. You get the same in the S23 as well. You'll have the S23, the S23 Plus, the S23 Ultra. Hi, Deanna. Welcome to the stream. Look through them and see which one suits your needs better. But... Well, which one would you get? I mean, if I was getting a brand new phone, I normally go for the latest one out. Um, they're not cheap, but these S twenty four in America, <sighs> you can get it on T Mobile, AT and T, Verizon, US Cellular, all that connectivity. I don't know what that means, because you know what, Frostbite. I didn't think I would like this game. I tried playing this game solo, and it's like I can't figure this crap out. I'm not playing this game, and uh. Now that I'm playing it with Kemp and learning how it works and stuff, I actually like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and also get it unlocked, so we'll see it unlocked. We'll go with the one terabyte store. Actually, do you take a lot of photos or store a lot of stuff on your phone? Uh, you know, I take photos. I don't think I take more photos than anybody else does. Uh, storing stuff on my phone, not too much, no. 
No, right, so you don't need a terabyte of storage. So, we'll reduce that to just the 500 gigs. And you get a bit cheaper for you. And you can get it in a choice of different colours. We'll go with the darker blue, because we all know you like it to go dark blue. I do. <laughs> well, actually, it's called titanium violet. Oh. Deanna got her nails done like... today. So pretty. You'll have to send a picture and show me what they look like today. You're looking at $1,500. Oh, are you kidding me? And mm -hmm. Ricky thought paying $800 for my iPhone was atrocious. And you're yeah, telling me that the Samsung Galaxy that, is twice as for, much? That's for the Ultra. If you just want the standard phone, let's say the S24. Unlocked. 256 gigs, that'll be fine. Deanna's Either calling, calling like... Bob the Builder. She said, okay, I'm here with Bob the Builder. So you know what? I should make a link to her page too. <laughs> for the standard one, with 256 in the Titanium Valley, you're looking at $860. Well. Dollars. So yeah, I, I normally go for the Ultra ones. Because I just, I like seeing that I've got the Ultra. Because I'm a snob, basically. <laughs> but, I mean, it depends what you're using your phone for. I use my phone for all sorts of things. From, it's my camera, a video recorder, to, to doing work on it and things like this. So I use my phone a lot. And my, like, I tend to only upgrade my phone every two to three years. I'm not, so I'm not upgrading it every year like some people. So oh, yeah. For, yeah, me either. Good one. Plus, I treat myself. Right. right. I mean, I don't, I think I can count on one hand how many selfies I've ever taken in my life. So. The front camera never really bothers us. I don't look at those ads because I'm probably never ever going to use it. But the back one, I always, I'm always interested in because that's the one where I'm going to record the kids and stuff when they're at like the zoo and things like this. So, mm. but yes, yeah, phones are not cheap these days. Not cheap at all. Well, oh, geez. I think the last time I bought. Bear in mind, every, I always go for the flagship phone, the good ones, the brand new out and stuff. The last time I bought a phone <sighs> and it was under a grand was probably about 10 years ago. That, they're really expensive. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, uh, let's see. I bought my iPhone probably a good 10 years ago because we bought this house eight years ago. So I've been here eight years and I had the phone before we came here. So... Mm, well, there I, you go. If you buy, if you go out and spend what, fifteen hundred on a on a on a brand new state of the art new phone, and it lasts you ten years, it's you it's money well spent. Yeah, like, you've definitely got your use out of it. I'm not saying go and do that because everybody's different. Um, but Samsungs are are good phones. They are very sturdy. They last. They're very high quality. Like the cameras on them are amazing. The the systems on them, I've never ever had a problem with them. You can put a memory card in and expand the storage if you really need to. Um like that connection they've got they're just great. Yeah. Like all round phones. And they are really good value for money. Like there there's other phones of the same quality and standards, but you'll pay a lot more money for them. Um, and they they deserve that price tag. They are really good phones. But it depends. They do a variety of different models, make si storage sizes and things like this. So if you're wanting the latest uh, software and stuff, go for the S24. If you're not bothered about that, go for the S23. And But look at the difference between the S23 or the S24 um, and that other counterparts like the S20 the S24 Plus and the S24 Ultra or if you're going for the S23 series it'll have a Plus and an Ultra version as well look at the difference between those three okay. and see which one suits you because 
the plus is more expensive than the standard and the ultra is more expensive again hi forizar welcome to the stream you made it you made it to one of my streams oh my god <laughs> how you doing how are you feeling oh he just got the s24 ultra as an upgrade yeah they're good phones i follow samson every year when they release the new phone i'm always there waiting see what it's got yeah, Forazar has a channel too. You guys need to go visit. You know, I should have put him in my exclamation mark. I should have put him in my commands. But let's see. We'll find it anyway. And then what's these ones? Okay. Next, I think, is from here, which goes here. There's Forazar chan Forazar's channel. You can go over and check it out. I'm going to have to add to that to my commands for uh, Streamlabs so I can actually do it with an exclamation point and make it faster. Forazar is a guy that helped me get a start. He helped me grow my channel from the beginning. That's why I'm doing it for Drunken, too, because, you know, you pay it forward. You know what? I messed up. I messed up, Kemp. Look, look at the last two houses I just built and tell me what I did wrong. Because I see it. You didn't change the roof. <laughs> I so... spotted it instantly. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, though. I was just going to change it before you noticed. No, you can change it if you want, because I'm not good at the controls yet. But, yeah, I just noticed it when I came out of the second house that's past the barn. I'm like, wait a minute. That doesn't look like my other house. And then I looked over here. I'm like, oh, yeah. That, oh, nope. It don't match, because those, no, they're wrong. <laughs> So we're I'm gonna go check if I can plant carrots in spring because if I can, I want to. Did you want to go get some more workers? Because we did get our, we did get our reputation up, did we not? Why didn't he plant anything there? Well, maybe we he could do if you wanted to go have a look and see if there's any worthwhile time. Um, you could have a check. I don't think I got. Oh, I did earn skills. You've played uh, Medieval Dynasty, didn't you, Fortizar? Oh, yeah, you haven't in so long. Got more slaves, I mean workers. <laughs> it's more like slaves. Are you playing the Planet Crafter yet? Because Kemp and I were th uh, talking about that this morning. We might actually do something like that later on. I'm not sure. And the uh, farming knowledge. Okay, so now I can put the other one in. In there so now I got three of three full well, well I want to do something today on on camera not that we're standing around just running around the place yeah. and looking pretty we'll and everything we'll go look for new staff because we need some more staff do we have anybody for the kitchen yet I know we have you got this guy doing the fields I know you have do we have one hunter or two um, I will have a look in management in a second. I'm just going to put this rock in the food storage. See what she has in here. Hey, get to work. You're not, where's all this wood that this girl's supposed to be doing? What wood? In the, in the, the woodshed. It has nothing it'll, in her box. It'll, it'll be in resource storage. Oh, okay. Look at it. They're all lazy bones. Going to go sit around the fire now. What the heck? It ain't lunchtime. Get up. Where's my whip? No, we have two people in the hunting lodge. But we could do with another person for the other woodshed. 
Mm. Could do with another person for the excavation shed. And you got near the end again on on the planet crafter, but you don't mess around, do you? I played a little bit yesterday with a friend of mine. We played a good nine hours, I think. And I love the new stuff that came out, but what I'm unhappy with is how fast your oxygen, your water, and your food go down. It goes down super fast. Now, the game that I have that I played back in 2022, I got to the atmospheric level, so... I could go outside and never run out of oxygen. But for a new player, you got to run around with three or four oxygen on you at all times or end up going back home when you die. I think they they made that go a little faster than what it was back in 2022 when I played it. And the other thing that I noticed is when I played it, when I got to the tree stage, the trees grew around my base. I mean, it's like living in a jungle. Some of the, the leaves are, you know, uh, coming through the base walls and stuff. But I noticed on my friend's game yesterday, the trees started growing, not at the base, but further back, like uh, over where the pulsar quartz and, and the... Uh, the other quartz caves are. I mean, the trees were growing there first in his, but in mine it grew at my base. Yeah, I have a tendency of doing that, even though um, my ener my uh, oxygen doesn't go down in my game. But in his game, I've been putting little, carrying things around. I mean, he came out of the base yesterday. He goes, what's this? Because I guess he thought I was adding to the base. I said, I'm making sure I have all the materials to take a little cubicle with me. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> and we'll see if we can get some more recruits. Uh, it's nighttime. They're all going to be sitting around their fires, right? Uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. I'll fix these woods. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go fix my boo-boo. Hey, at least I noticed I made a boo-boo. Yeah. Let's try. <laughs> Hi, Christian. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing with the Planet Crafter? I see that you were playing it. You like it? Oh, and Deanna, I have to tell you, because I had a discussion with B-Man. If you can't hear um, Tempez as well as you can hear me, it's on your end because uh, everybody else is able to hear him. Can You could go yeah, into... Drunk, drunken said he could hear us fine. Yeah, Drunken said he could hear us fine. What you need to do is you need to go on Discord, right-click on Kempis's name, and up the volume for him so you can hear him better. Very chill, relaxing game. Yes, it is. Um, what stage did you get to? Okay, Deanna, you carry a storage unit around. When you get to a blue box on the ground, do you empty it and then take the storage box up? Or do you leave the blue storage box still down on the sand? And we've been playing for four hours. How far did you get? Just got it yesterday evening. Oh, are you playing with friends or are you playing solo? Wait, wait. What do you need? I probably have everything on me because I stole it from there. Logs and planks. Oh, I don't have planks. I have logs on got... me, though. Yeah, uh, uh, you can. How many logs you got on you? I'm looking right now. 66. Yeah, you're probably better off just dropping them because I'll have to put in something. To... <laughs> Actually, drop one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can go and make. Are you in front of them in, into planks? You want me to drop you six logs? Is that what you're telling yeah. me? Okay. Yeah, drop me six and then go to the woodshed and make 12 logs into. No, hang on. How many does it take each? No, make 24 logs into 48 planks. So, but you want me to drop six logs right yeah. now on the ground? Okay. 
There. All right, and then if you go make twenty-four planks, 24 logs and twenty-four logs into planks, then it'll uh, that'll finish the roof off. Why can't you just hold down the button? You have to click, click, click each one. Oh, okay. Playing solo is how I started in, in 2022 when the game first came out. But now I, I played last night co-op, and that's a lot of fun, too. And things go a lot faster when you play co-op. Um, where do you want me to put these planks? Um, you can put the, uh, put the logs in resource storage, but then you can take the planks and finish the roofs off. Because you'll get the, the points. There you go. All right, you buildaholics, I'm here. Oh, yay, we got a new voice yay. in the channel. <laughs> Actually, I, I had to wait till Mr. Chatty went back to work. Oh. I'm surprised they're not out there getting the boot ready. Yeah. May, she said. Well, yeah. the thing, it, it goes in the water in the May, but it's got the floors all ripped up and stuff right now, and then my husband hurt his knee, so it's sitting oh. there. <laughs> so, I'm not happy. Oh. But anyway. Whatever. It'll still go no. in in May, just not the first part of it um were you asking me about that game or Kristen? what um the planet crafter yeah oh she came I, in i could only hear the conversation and my husband was talking so i had like two conversations at once <laughs> i was talking to Kristen about it because she said she okay. just started playing it yesterday for the first time i noticed on discord that she was playing it and i want to Oh, yeah, she picks it's up the, the box. the most boring, obnoxious game. You think it's boring? <laughs> Actually, it's a lot of fun when you play co-op. I played with B-Man no. yesterday for a couple hours. Yeah. And uh, no. Drunken was asking me to play last night. But, sorry, Drunken was asking me to play it last night because he went live, too. He, he said he invited me to the game. Oh. I said, yeah, I'm probably going to play with B-Man, though. For His like, ears must be burning because he just popped in. Oh. Hey, Drunken, how you doing? Good morning. Welcome to the stream. We were just talking about you. It's ears red. I think Frostbite probably sent him a text message that hurry up. They're talking about you. Get on the stream. <laughs> 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 no, it's just annoying. I mean, my lake is almost to 100%. I've got flowers and grass and, you know, it's just annoying. I gotta put more heat out so I can do more blueprint shit. And I wouldn't want to play it with other people. I don't like sharing my space. <laughs> hey, Junkie, guess what? I don't have the heart on my chat today. Everybody thank him for re for helping me remove those live reactions. What a pain that was. <laughs> now they're gone. I remember... So whiny. <laughs> I remembered. I couldn't see what everybody was saying behind the hearts. <coughs> and I wasn't aware that everybody else had it on their screen either. I thought it was just me. But he showed me how to start my stream so that nobody gets them goofy things anymore. And a whole host of other things. It was very helpful. <laughs> Sorry I was unable to join you on the Planet Crafter last night, but B-Man kept me up until 12.30 a little bit past midnight there and I'm like uh, I had to call it quits. I did come over to your channel when I was done and seen that you had already finished so maybe another day. Oh my god. I will I didn't know if I was going to be doing the stream today because Kempis was in a terrible way the last couple of days and looking for a dentist. Oh, yeah. And then I woke up this morning, Deanne, I don't know, maybe you can help me with this. I woke up, I've, 
I wasn't sure if I was going through a stroke or a heart attack. I didn't know what was going on, but I got out of, I, I sat up in bed and the room was spinning and I felt like my body was leaning to the left. Mm-hmm. And I had to sit there for a good five minutes before I could actually get off the bed to go to the bathroom. And when yeah. I'm walking, it felt like my house was tipped 45 so degrees. Here, probably. Oh, my. The crystals in the back of your ear probably shifted. Uh. I get it all the time. You just can't get up fast anymore. You just got to roll onto your side and push yourself up slowly and sit there for a minute so the blood comes down to your feet. and Yeah, or you'll pass out. Because I never had a heart attack or a stroke, so I don't know what it's like. But, I mean, this was no, definitely something different. I never that's felt. That's just inner ear stuff. That's like the crystals in your in your little way inside. They get jiggled around. And... Yeah, it was almost like vertigo. But vertigo, I can walk, and it, I don't get nauseated from walking while I'm, I'm feeling the vertigo. But this was different. This. Yeah, I always feel nauseous when it happens to me. It's yeah. just, just the way it is. You know, I'm getting up there in age. You know, I'm not yeah. 29 anymore, so I have to be I careful. Know. They get you. <laughs> they, they get you wherever they can. You can't get in the big toe, they'll get you in the ear. <laughs> You're being, what are you being thanked for? You're being thanked for because you uh, enabled me. You taught me how to remove the live reactions from my chat. Yeah. Thank you, Frostbite. So basically, she's saying she's thanking you for being an enabler. <laughs> it's, like. it's not every, it's not every day somebody thanks you for being an enabler. Okay, now my <laughs> torch was given into her every whim. I <sighs> swear. Pick, I'm out of straw. I gotta go pick some straw. I can't. I don't have a, enough straw to make fire. This lazy bones went to bed. I know it's dark because my torch ran out. I need more of this straw. Push oh. your thing; it will glow. What thing will then glow? You can see a little bit. Yeah, alt vision. Push your alt vision, and it will glow, and then you can see better. Oh, look at that, guys! It's like being on acid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think. <laughs> I, no, what made me think of that was I was watching reruns of 9-11 last night. You know, that sh you ever watch that show, right? 9-11 with the firefighters. Anyway, people in town always send the firefighters goodies, cookies, brownies, and all that shit. And last night they were eating brownies that were laced with LSD. <laughs> Oh my! And they're going, they're going on calls and they're standing there and they went to like a little kids pageant and... And they're standing there going, wow, these women are tiny. It's like, the, they're not even so, women. They were kids. It's like so wrong. <laughs> Drunken says he's getting up in the air, so he doesn't say that anymore. He but doesn't. He says he's numerically robust. Numerically robust? Really? My dad never went over the age of 39. Every birthday was 39, 39, 39. I don't understand. I love not the numbers. I don't care. I'll tell people how old I am. It doesn't bother me at all. Well, the cool thing about it is I actually don't look my age, you know? Yeah. Which was, that's what people tell me, too. Yeah. I'm like, well, that's good then. <laughs> I must be doing something right. <laughs> yeah, my younger sister looks like she's actually 20 years older than me. She spends too much time out in the garden under the sun. Ruins your skin. Well, I like being outside. Well, I like, I like being outside, too. I protect myself. But I don't like wrinkles on my face or around my I lips. I protect myself. Yeah. <laughs> Amy, if you look in your chest in your house, there's some presents for you. But, oh, it's a good when thing you, that you... When you, when, you, when, you, when you get a chance. It's a good thing you she, said look at the chest in your house because I'm like, how the, what the heck? She's looking down at her titties <laughs> right now. Yeah. Why? What's wrong with them? <laughs> Like they're not wrinkly either. No, they just hang to the floor. <laughs> it's it's so, you know, when you lean over, they hit your legs, and you just jiggle your legs, and it's like a good time. <laughs> it's not that bad yet. <laughs> good God, girl. I'm just. 
<laughs> I don't think I actually know anybody with melons that big. I was teasing Ricky last night. He said, I want a breast reduction. He's like, the hell you do. <laughs> oh, what is it with men and boobs? Well, that's exactly what he said. He goes, you know I'm a titty man. It's like, well, what does that have to do with you? You don't have to carry him around. I was like, you don't have to wear them hanging up in front of you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, look at all the new stuff in my bin. Yeah, Kempes has got to quit spoiling you like that. Copper axe, copper hammer, copper hoe. Gave you a hoe. He gave me a You're copper a hoe. hoe. Yeah. Now. He gave me a copper hoe. Yeah, he gave me a hoe. Now I can be a hoe girl. <laughs> 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 We're on drug. Oh. We're on drugs today, Deanna. We're all on drugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the yeah? drugs I'm what on are taken? good stuff. <laughs> what odd I'm taking right now? To be honest. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Pablo oh Escobar. God. Yeah, Frost, Frostbite says he, his mom makes fun of him because he gets gray he gets a uh, gray hair and she never has any. Well, that's because us women don't get gray hair. Drunken said, "At least it's a clean hoe." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I mean, I would never give somebody a dirty hoe. I'm sorry, but that is not anything bad to say <laughs> why would they be trying to hide it Kristen's telling me to go work the corner <laughs> make money <laughs> I'd have to pay people <laughs> it's the red light district I got my home <laughs> I'm telling you the conversations you people come up with Oh, as if it's us. Oh, as as if it isn't. Now you even got Kristen doing it. She's telling me to go work the corner. No, why? You can't help but stumble in. <laughs> even Kristen's picking Am on I it. right, drunken? <sighs> I need sticks and stuff. Oh, I went outside in my bare feet today. Oh my God, it's too cold. My feet Why still... would you do that? I I needed to see. You need to see how fast you could get your your foot stuck to the pavement. Well, it was fifty two, but oh, that's so cool. My poor feet were blue, and they're, they're I feel still bad for your feet. They're still hurting because they're still cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's not warm enough for me. I got I two points to spend in production. If you want to look at my Ooh. screen and tell me where you think I should put them. Um, crafting, maybe? Crafting, Sewing, maybe, no. if you want to start making stuff. I need to turn that up so I can actually see what you're looking at. Um, You've got Handyman. Um, I would probably do either cooking knowledge. So I think the expert. Let's have a look. I think the experts are just faster. Okay, think... but sewing knowledge wouldn't that uh, give me the ability to make baskets and stuff, and it, that we could? No, it won't give you the ability. It'll give you more. It'll give you more experience when you do it. Oh, okay. So oh. either cooking or sewing knowledge, I would say. Really? Yeah. It just helps you make new meals, or the sewing will help you make sacks for your manure, or... Yeah, you'll, 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 you'll get the production points faster. Hats, or, you know, you'll be able to start sewing little things. And then once they're maxed out, you can move on to, like, the craft and sewing and cooking mm -hmm. expert, which will make you do it faster. Okay. Um... Yeah, I need help uh, with the point system because I'm not sure about it yet. Yeah, just put it wherever you want. I never really... It's like whatever I was working on at that point, that's where I put the points. Yeah. I want to make better weapons, I put them in there. I wanted to cook different foods, I put them in there. <laughs> Kristen says, I've heard you can't cook. <sighs> Me? I was told yesterday that I'm a good wife. By a man who just got divorced from his. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, by a man that just got divorced, I was, there was a little bit of a breath there. I was like, what? Yeah, I don't think, his, like, I would be taking marriage advice. What? No offense to anyone who's just been divorced. No, it's... But I will, I'm not going to be taking any marriage advice. <laughs> For someone who's busy going through a divorce. Yeah, but you don't know. You don't know. You know what side that comes from. So you can't make that. Yeah. You can't make Which that is call. Why I wouldn't be taking advice because I don't know whether it's their fault or not. Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't plan on getting married anytime soon, though. So that's fine. Besides everybody, so. You really need yeah. to get married, though. Have children before you're working too on, old. Working on it. Leave the baby alone. <laughs> I mean, He's still just a baby. Come on, dip your toe in the water, and then jump in. Yeah. Water's fine. <laughs> My gear, yeah. But if someone's not on the same page at this stage in life, then you move along. It's kind of I like mean, that two-minute dating now. <laughs> who says you need to be married or even have a partner to have kids? I mean, I could have kids by myself. Yeah, you don't. This day and age, that. that would be like just have a test tube, baby. Oh, a test tube. No, you can't. They're, 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 they're outlawing that over here in the States. They're turning off IVS that, you know, people can't even get artificially inseminated. What the hell? And they're calling the, they're calling the eggs children, unborn children. I mean, there's no guarantee that when you use the egg, it's going to become a child. So you can't even say that. But oh. even when you go to a clinic to have your eggs or even your semen frozen, they always tell you, and you have to sign a, a disclaimer to, to say you understand that there is a risk that it might not be viable during the unfreezing process. It's, it's a lot of money, and they only put the best mm -hmm. ones in. Drunken said, well, you don't really know where he has the bar set for what he thinks is a good wife. Kristen said, don't do it, Kemp. It's overrated. <laughs> and then Frostbite said, true, staying off drugs might be the pinnacle. Yeah. I mean, I'm definitely going to wait until I'm drug-free before I start getting married. I, I mean, because that, that's grounds for annulment, that is. Oh, to be fair, people, he, he has been suffering from a really bad abscess tooth. So he's on yes. painkillers for it. Are so you not into that dentist yet? Oh, no, I was in this morning. Oh. And it's that bad now. Like yeah, they've left it so long. Antibiotics to clear it up before they can do it. Yeah, anything. but it's that bad. They actually physically can't remove it. It has to be surgically removed. What did you wait so long for? I didn't. They did. Why didn't it's you get a second opinion long. from a? <laughs> you should have just. I was in. Out. I was in the three different dentists, and they all said the same thing. It'll have to be removed surgically because it's too. The space is too small because it's right at the back of my mouth. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, right, fine. Ah, then I turned around and said, look, I'm going to take a sledgehammer out of my mouth if somebody doesn't pull this thing out. And they were like, all right, come in and we'll, we'll take it out for you. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, there might be complications later on. I was like, I really don't care about no complications. Like the amount of pain I'm in right now, I'm about to like, I'm about to murder someone. Like it is horrendous. And they were like, right, okay, we'll take it out. So went in. Took one look at it and went, I can't take that out because the minute I put any pressure on with some pliers, it's just going to crumble. And I was like, Thanks. great. You know, I'd be saying, you get me in emergency today to an oral surgeon or I'm going to find the nearest Coke dealer. Oh. <laughs> and that's going to be on your head. I mean, I don't need I to find the I bet you they would Coke. find you one in one hell of a hurry. I mean, the drugs I'm on right now are better than any coke dealer could supply you with. Yeah. I, I mean, apart from the fact that the meat is tired. Yeah, I mean, what are you taking? Oxys? Uh, no, they are worse than oxys. Morphine? It, pretty, much, pretty much morphine. It's like a couple of steps down from morphine. I can't take morphine or codeine. I'm allergic to them. It has a big, huge letters. Can cause addiction. These letters are bigger than the name of the They're not. It's a narcotic. Product. Can cause addiction. Contains opioids. Did you make yeah. Did you make me a copper pickaxe? Because I don't see it. No, you can't get copper pickaxes. Okay. Um, oxymorphone? 
No, it's uh Hide Hide your Pramad Oh yeah, probably... I remember that too. Yeah, it's good sheet. <laughs> yeah. I mean put it this way, I've gone from taking about thirty two paracetamol a day to taking two of these. <laughs> Whatever works. And I, I mean, put you can't live in pain, but so I put that. So when are they getting you into the surgeon? Did they put a nine one one on it? They've uh, they have bumped us up the waiting list for the general anesthetic surgery, but they've also added us onto the waiting lists for multiple um, sedation waiting lists. Mm. So I'll be semi conscious when they do it, which I really don't want to do because it's uh, fine. No, At this point, it's going to be a couple hours in surgery to get it out. Yeah, but you're not going to be aware of being awake. Oh, no, I'll be so doped up. It'll, it'll not, yeah, I'll, so I'll, I'll be staying pink elephants and unicorns. So. Yeah, <laughs> you know. It'll, it'll uh, be over and you'll be like, are we starting soon? And they're like, oh, we're <laughs> That's a good thing about general aesthetic. Like, you just get to have a nap. You wake up, you're all fixed. I don't wake up well from anesthesia because it takes so much to put me under and I'm not a huge girl <laughs> it takes so much to put me under it takes a long time for me to go under and then it takes me a hell of time to wake up so I'm yeah. under for a long time while they're trying to wake me up my body just reacts that way to it some people's bodies like have a fit. I don't know whether I should be concerned or not, Frostbite, that you know this information. But some people just do not do well with any type of anesthetic. I mean, I wake up fine. Like, I don't have those problems. It just takes me a long yeah. time for my body to allow it to wake up through the anesthesia. I don't wake up, you know, like some people are crazy and they say weird things. But no, I when I wake up, I wake up. It's just I'm asleep and then I'm awake. I don't have kind of a on a normal day. <laughs> it's yeah, it's weird, but it's because it takes so much to put me down. Umi, where are you off to? Um, stone. We're lacking in stone. Buffalo is what they give. Oh, you're going that right? Okay, I'll I'll wait for the workers until you're back. Cause that's good to get you. To we're do. we're all just. Sitting here watching Doomie's butt while she runs down the road with her axe. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, what was that? Oh yeah, Hunt and Lodge two with a. Oh, that's not what we've unlocked. Oh, I imagine. That's a long way to go to yeah, find Hunt some rocks. Lodge. Hunt and Lodge two. Yeah, but we're. I don't have oh, big rocks my like brain this. Is so tired today. By the house. And we're in a new season, so that means the um, the um, cave regenerated the mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drunken. All this talk of drugs, and then Doomy says she left to go get stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm pretty toasted today. To get stone, yes. I didn't say stone, duh. That's totally different. Oh. Yeah, yeah. On. Let us have our fun. I haven't been able to get stoned in years. <laughs> they, they, I have a medical condition that I could actually walk into the medicinal marijuana place up here and get some, but they won't let me do it because they have me on that stupid oxycodone. So the pain and management center makes me sign a certificate letter saying that I will not put any other pain reliever in my body. I can't even put aspirin in without their consent well i can do whatever i want we grow it yeah i've made we've made all kinds of um pot rub yeah so you put it on your joints or muscles or oh it works so good and i can make edibles i need to we tried some new types so i need to see if they work on my daughter so now that rub that you're talking about that still would show up in a in a piss oh, test, wouldn't it? Be I don't care. It's legal here. So no, 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 no. I mean, it's legal here, oh. too. The problem is because I'm going through pain management, they want to handle my pain management. I don't 
know if it would show up in your bloodstream or not because it's going into your muscles and joints. It might. I don't know. I, I would think more ingestible would show up more in your bloodstream. I don't yeah. know if the rub would show up as much. Because believe it or not, say. I can't even eat poppy seed cake because it shows up as... Oh, that will show up on anybody's yeah. blood test. So I can't even eat poppy seed cake, and I love that freaking shit, but oh well. Just tell them I had poppy seed cake, and it's going to show up as an opioid, but it's not. I mean, I was. What a can of can't eat, you shitheads! I was so scared when I when we went to the concert and we were sitting around all those skunkweed people, you know, smoking their skunkweed. I swear to God, I got high just from smelling this shit. So when you should have just enjoyed it. Well, the thing of it is, when I go for a pee test at the pain management center, you know, they do them at random, so I never know what day they're going to do it. Well, I, you know, so I, I don't think that would be in your system for very long because you're not actually doing it you know what i mean it's not like you're actually inhaling it wholeheartedly well yeah in your lungs. but just to be safe i you know i told them that there's a possibility it might show and and why it would show because i didn't want to lose the stuff that i go through with my neck i can't go without the pain relief and i don't know if drugs would actually help it i don't know if weed and shit like that would actually help this problem Frostbite and Kristen both think it would show up. Okay. Thank you. Ah, well, so much for that idea. <laughs> well, it, who knows? I mean, you know approximately within how long that you're going to get a blood test. 24 hours? I just, I don't know when I walk through the door, if they're going to do it that okay, day or but not. You know when you're going to walk through the door. Right. So if you're using the rub, use it until like two days before or three days before. It's definitely not going to be in your system. I thought it took 30 days to get CB, this, the THC and stuff like that out of your blood. Oh, I thought you were talking about the rub. Yeah, well, I don't know what's in the rub. I know what you're using to make it. On, it's just I think it depends the on the it's... quantity that's in your system. Yeah. Like, if you've only got, like, one milligram in your system, it's probably going to take a lot less time for that to get out of your system than, say, 100 milligrams. Right, right, okay. So, if it was a very low, low dose... You could even... If they did test you and it did come up at a very low dose, you could say, oh... I, I was at a friend's house and they were partaking and it got into your system that way. I mean, I mean, basically, I, they just don't want you doing edibles or smoking a joint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are like instant hits. Well, I'm not ashamed to say it. I did smoke pot in my early years. I mean, you know, every, no. I, I mean, ex I mean, who has it? I mean, I, ex <laughs> well, <laughs> I experimented. I mean, who's not, used, not necessarily smoked it, but in this day and age, who's not used it in one form or another? I don't know. I've just been using it now in the rubs that we make. I have yeah. not indulged before that. I'm oh. a very grown adult now. Yeah. There's no, like I said, it is no it is legal now in Michigan. You're allowed to have it, and yeah. you know. But I mean, with the rub, you're not getting any of the the highs. You don't get high. Yeah. Get, it's just it's muscle relief. I right. Rub it into joints. I rub it into if I've pulled a muscle in my neck or my back or um, you know. Oh, my oh, mom, she'll use it on her knees. I wonder if it would help bulging discs in my neck. I have four of my them. My mom has bulging discs. and They're painful, let me tell you. <clears throat> well, I certainly wouldn't want to experience it. I watched my mom deal with it. You know, and everybody's like, look, get the surgery, get the surgery. Um, well, I know people who got the surgery and now they can't turn their neck at all. Yeah. And they're in more pain now than they were before they got the surgery. You just have to weigh the pros and cons. If you're to a point where you're incapacitated because of the pain, uncontrollable, then 
getting it fused is at that point, you know, you're still going to have a better quality of life, even if you can't turn your head as much, you know, if you're turning your body. Well, you can't turn your head, you can't drive. (laughs) If you can still, you know, manage your pain, then, you know, it can be better without having your, your bones fused together. But I know people that have, have had stuff done and, you know, as long as you see your chiropractor and your therapist and keep all the other bones where the way they're supposed to be, they do much better. Well, but you they, have to do all the other proactive stuff along with it. They've sent me to uh, physical therapy. They sent me to occupational therapy and both of them make the, make it worse. They don't make it better. They make it worse. Yeah, that's, that's where the, chi- you have to find a really good chiropractor that actually does the scans and stuff on you before working. So they know what they're working with and where they're working. But yeah. There is good, really good chiropractors that want you to be mobile and out of pain. You just have to find the right ones. Well, actually, I used to do uh, print work. I used to do print work uh, for a chiropractor. I should look in my journal here and see if I still have his address and give him a call. Cause, yeah. I mean, he's not too far from me. He's over in... Uh, I don't know that town that begins with an R. <laughs> <laughs> There's a town over there, like three towns over, starts with an R. I haven't been over there in years. Oh, I... As good as me. <laughs> I was like, what what city does my brother live in? Um, I think it might be Oakville now. I don't remember. Anyway, it's not too strong. I hate driving. Yeah, I just had that conversation today. I was like. Rick, I don't remember where the hell he lives anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Frostbite. That's good advice. You can you can get the benefits of it without needing to smoke it. And she's allergic to the smoke, mm-hmm. the marijuana yeah. smoke. But you can still get the benefits out of it by using the the edibles and stuff like that. Oh, well, they even have lollipops edible. now. Yeah. Yeah, I have even seen edibles which are infused with uh, vitamins and stuff. So it's like a multivitamin gummy with weed in it but i can forewarn you i don't know where you live you start to your day <laughs> this stuff can be pretty expensive depending on where you get it from yeah oh That's yeah why you make it yourself yeah do they have a limit uh deanna where you live on the amount of plants that you can grow per person i think i mean we can usually grow a fair few because they're in the house and we have a lot of people in here but i don't know what the exact numbers are because i don't deal with any of that yeah thank you mess it's in the basement the boys take care of that the corner of fifth and main <laughs> just show some leg and get well nothing <laughs> <laughs> Joking. I, 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 I tell you. Ugh, Some of the I advice. So tired. It's... My daughter decided that 4.30 was a good time to have the loudest party in her room with the Wally she was sleeping with. I think all the ghosts in her head came to play. I had to go in there and she decided that she would remember some words and told me I was being mean to her. Huh? I'm like, honey, you ain't seen mean yet. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I should put and it this. Then, and then my oldest, who doesn't live here, decided six o'clock is a good time to text in the morning and wake us up because he walked out of our house in a pair of Crocs that weren't his and left his work shoes here. <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell is wrong with my children today? So yeah, I had interrupted sleep and and then I had to get up and function because it was nail day. So it was just like, this day is like the worst Monday ever and it's Tuesday. (laughs) (laughs) Oh yeah. So yeah, it's been a great morning so far. (laughs) Okay, Frostbite, you know a lot about this topic. Do you partake? 
Are you one of those, uh, like my other friend who's a research hound, he knows everything, a little, a little bit about everything and not a lot about, you know. Frostbite must have licked the lollipop. <laughs> They have it now for pets too, right? You can get, you uh, can get, yeah. yeah. Do they you work for pets? My dog, Lupian. Oh, you just need to get him that toy that I showed you for your backyard. That would keep him happy. <laughs> oh now. yeah, I've, I've got that in my wish list. <laughs> oh, okay. The money, I'm getting it. Fair enough, Frostbite. <clears throat> I have a friend that argues with me that being under the influence of marijuana and driving is a lot better than being under the influence of alcohol and driving. Um, I don't think you should be under the influence of anything no. when no. you're driving. I totally, stupid yeah. people out on the road. I totally disagree with him on that one. I mean, I, I would say for <clears throat> me it would depend on the dose. Because if you're taking marijuana for medicinal reasons... To help with the pain, but it's well, not like the it's just like the THC. It's not the the yeah. stuff that gets you high. That's then you to drive on that, that would be all right. But if it's got that, quite honestly, Tempest should be driving on narcotics either. I know the drugs I'm I am sure on. Don't, don't don't work hard. Actually, <laughs> it actually says on the label. Hang on, because my eyes need to focus. Uh. Do not drink alcohol while taking this medicine. Uh, this <laughs> medicine may make you sleepy. If this happens, do not drive or use tools or machinery. It doesn't even say power tools. It just says do not use tools. Gosh darn it. What is it with these wolves today? Get out of here. Yeah, they just uh, your toes. Oh, you know what? You ran into, uh, there must be a cave around where they, or uh, a dwelling for them. You yeah, there is. Other than your shovel there, lady. There you go. Um, He's like that, eating you. That's also, if I'm not mistaken, where the uh, bears live. Well, she's just had like three wolves in a row. I'm thinking she's got to have. Yeah, she's like, in the middle of a, of, of a wolf spawn at the minute. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm looking at her on the back. <laughs> I'm trying. I ran over clay. I was trying to get the clay. Yeah, I think you should look around your surroundings for a minute. <laughs> oh, there's a wolf over there. Dang. Yeah, there's probably a wolf den in one of those rocks or something. I was running home, I thought. There's got to be a wolf den around you. Drunk has said, nope, bears are to the west of her. Thank you. Bears to the west of her, wolves to the right. Stuck in the middle. That and there's a piglet. Go away. And there's an animal there. He's going to poke you with his horn. <laughs> they, they lose interest after a yeah, while, don't they? Spot. This is a hawk spot. So when you need feathers and stuff, this is where you're going to come with your bow to. The I haven't been on the map long enough to, to know the map, but no, it just shows up when you run through. That's how. Yeah, I when know you come I when you come across a new animal spawn location, mm -hmm. it'll come up in your top uh, left. <sighs> okay, where the hell am I going? I'm not even running towards. I'm just following the water. I know that'll get me home. <laughs> Here's Unless more. You're going to the other side. No, see, if you look at the map, just follow the river, it'll get me home, but... Oh. Frostbite said, he's subject, I'm familiar, but not deeply knowledgeable. I encourage comparative internet research, and if there are dispensaries, discussion with someone there, and with your doctor. Screw the doctor. I don't trust them. Are you on your way home? Yes, I'll say yes. After she, after she right. shoots another animal, she, she thinks she should. Uh, don't run. She gave up. I did not. I killed that puppy. There you go. If you come She's over to the recruitment, 
the recruitment village when you get back. I found a gill that we can get. Well, I'll be there as soon as I can find you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I'm passing the shack that I ran past to get over here, so I know I'm coming close. She found the love shack, baby. I'm filthy dirty, though. Not 100%, but I am dirty. Look at me. I'm all full of... She's a dirty girl. We knew it. We all knew it. I'm clean now. I'm clean. Uh, I'm not stopping to get that clay, although I would. I see the village, so I know I'm close to home. There's home. There it is. See? see? It's right there. I appreciate you guys showing up. Don't forget to hit that like button. Pound it, pound it. <laughs> <laughs> Our village is starting to look pretty ship shaped there. So bossy telling us what to do. Who's telling us what to do? You are. No, I'm pound not. It, pound it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Pound that button. <laughs> All right. Hey, get to work. Stop your lollygagging. No. This is not a place for that. Take it home. Oh, you insulated their houses? Yeah, I started doing some of them. Oh, cool. <laughs> Nordwolf said pounded when he got here during the whole conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. He said it was a great welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you just couldn't keep quiet anymore, huh? Welcome to the stream, Nordwolf. Oh, my God. I have to start. Uh, that's another one. Remind me. I have to put his exclamation command into my stream lab so that we can let people go know to go over to his channel. He streams on Twitch. Twitch okay. gives you itch. Yeah, it's been, itch, yeah. Itch, itch. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. I've been meaning to get back to one of your streams because I really like the chatter. It's good to see you too. Thank you so much. Oh, now I'm just tickled pink that I got Nordwolf to come here, had Drunken come in. Um, I think she's dipped there. out with a... No, the buffer's gone now, so that should have fixed it. I just refreshed. It was just the spinning wheel mm, in the middle. No, she's been kicked out of the game as well. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I was like, it did buffer. Now she's just standing still. Uh-oh, spaghetti. She had a chat, too? She's still in chat. No, I'm finding a link for Nordwolf. Did I get oh. kicked out of the game? Because, yeah, I just did just now. Yeah. So, load game. No, not that game. Join game. I don't know what happened. Well, I guess I was lackey for a day and it decided that my work was done. <laughs> 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 I'm coming back in now. Yeah, you're only 96 meters away, apparently. I know you are, sweetie, but <coughs> I really like your streams a lot and I enjoy your chats. So, And I just got my stream labs up where I can start putting in commands and thanking everybody for showing up to my streams who are also, you know, other creators. So I know you're here for me, but that's my way of saying I'm here for you too. Okay. I'm back in the game. Can you see me? I'm just here for the coffee. Yep. <laughs> just come on, come over to where we'll recruit people. And, uh, you can recruit this girl. The cro oh, the close proximity to us across the bridge. Yeah, this okay. one, the one that I'm stood at. Yeah, like thirty meters away. What are we looking for? We're looking for this girl. This one. What she yeah. got? Let's see what she has. Ooh. She's good at extraction. 
All right. She's gonna do your mining for you. Yeah. Well, uh, she's gonna go chop down some trees. Great. She agreed to come. New villager Tamura. Yeah. Oh, I, I like that name. For limestone. Um, let me assign her quickly. I just got a house. Now this girl. Somewhere to work. This girl like looks like she belongs in the kitchen, but. Huh. This one's got two threes, but I don't think they're in the right place. Eh. <clears throat> yes. This is the first time that I've played this game, um, and I love it. I mean, if, if you like survival games and building, you know, a settlement and... and going out and finding people to run the settlement for you. I mean, it's it's time-consuming, but what game is it? Right. Let's go to the other village and see if they've got anybody for us. Do you have your coffee? I switched to tea, but it's still a coffee live stream because 90% of the people drink coffee. Where are we going now? I wasn't... This way. Other village. Yeah, we're gonna go see if we can get some more workers. <clears throat> and we'll see if we can find her a boyfriend. My big twenty four ounce Yeti cup is always on my desk. I mean, even started throwing away the glass coffee mugs in my kitchen, Deanna, and we're replacing it all with Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I still like my coffee mugs. I just, you know, I have one coffee just, mug that's my favorite, but the, I, my problem is it sits on my desk and sits there and yep. sits there and sits there. Then it gets cold, whereas yeah. in my Yeti cup, it stays nice and hot for hours and hours. It does. I use my Yeti a lot, but Ricky, I, uh, Ricky will use, use my it. mugs for tea a lot. Though. Me too. Because my tea doesn't get cold because I drink it in the evening, so it's not really sitting there with distractions. So Nordwolf, are you still playing with AI? Last time I uh, came in one of your chats, you were talking about it. You still doing it? I didn't throw out my DDG mug because I didn't buy the the white one because it um it didn't come in that size. So we were looking at his merch the other day. And if you want, you can share his merch link in here if you know it by heart because I don't. Um, I've decided that I'm going to get the 20-ounce one, the real tall one. The travel mug is white, so I'm going to get that to use it in my truck. No, I, I, even if I did have the mug, I wouldn't have thrown it out. I told him I could still buy the other one, the black, uh, the white one that's smaller, but I would use it as a pencil holder. Because <laughs> with a size coffee uh, mug like that, I'd be running to the kitchen constantly for refills. Okay, got everything. Oh, and I wanted, to, rye I wanted to let you know, uh, Kemp, Deanna, you guys were right. I'm just going to let you know you were right. I mean, what? There's so many things I could okay. have been right. Well, I know. Out, of this, <laughs> out of the seven plants that Ricky has bought for me, <clears throat> I'm going to be throwing them two away, two of them away, because they're dead as doorknobs. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I told you I don't have much of a green thumb, but, you know, we went to dress up the office with plants. Well, two of them are going bye-bye. Yeah. Then you just have to dust them. <laughs> I told her just get me artificial ones, and then all I have to do is just wipe them off once in a while. It's just give me artificial flowers <laughs> and an air purifier. It'll, be, it'll look like the plants are keeping the air clean. <laughs> Um, oh, that is so freaking funny. This girl here, this, um, this damn Roca, 
Yeah, she could go in the... Who's good at hunting in? Uh, that's production, well, right? Two men is a... He's a good farmer. So, yeah. How old is that one? I don't see how old she is. You don't want to put them... 21 and 27. He's 27. So, so that's, that's less than 10 year span. Yeah, they'd be all right. Uh, he's a hunt. There, we don't need another hunt. Uh, could put him in fishing. I'll be honest, Nordwolf. I don't. I don't know too much about AI because I haven't played with it. I've seen other creators play with it. You know, I, I just I don't know the first thing about it. And to be honest with you, with all the games that I play and and all the times that I'm online listening to other players, I really don't have time to mess with AI. Yeah, you can get her. Okay. And then, um... How do you do? Well, come to my house and I'll tell you. <laughs> right, and then get this guy here. So he'll be a good farmer. Oh, it's you again? Well, this is the first time I'm here. Did you mean my twin sister or something? All right, he's coming home too. And then this guy will be a fisherman. Latimer. See what you got. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. This girl sitting next to him was singing. <laughs> This one is excavation. She's a singer. Keep her mind for the bar. She can sing to people. <laughs> <laughs> or entertainment. Or lull them to sleep, depending how good of a singer <laughs> she is. <laughs> <clears throat> Make him run screaming for the <clears throat> <clears throat> I haven't got to that part yet, um, Drunken. I, mean, I just got Streamlabs commands working thanks to you. I was looking at the, the merch story the other day. I, I have to dig up my old archives to get my logo that I know is uh, 300 DPI worthy for the store. I don't want some logo that looks all blotchy and shit. Blotch. Blotchy and blotch. Aw, thank you. Got them both assigned. He is. All right, thanks, drunk, and then I'll order the mug too, and I'll probably get the smaller cup. Ricky can have one. Probably, Ricky gets the teeny ones, because I don't want to share my drink with you. No, you know what it is. He um, he goes in spurts. You know, even if I make his coffee in a Yeti cup, he's lucky if he has two swallows and then he lets it sit. I don't know if it's because he forgets about it or he just isn't as thirsty for coffee as he thought he was, but. Who knows? So it doesn't matter what cup he gets his coffee in, it's going to leave it sit and, one, and, then he, oh, and then he heats it in the microwave. Yuck. I hate microwaved coffee. It tastes so gross. I have had right. microwaved coffee if Let's I want Google. it before I, <laughs> while I'm waiting for the real coffee. Yeah. And then when the real coffee's done, I'll dump out what's left. And <laughs> you ready on. to go home? Yeah, I'm ready to go home. Come on then. Let's go back to the village. Okay. Yeah, nor when I drank coffee, I used to drink it cold. In fact, I'll go to the Tim Hortons over here and get the ice caps. I'll, I love cold coffee if it's made right. Uh, but uh, I don't drink too much coffee anymore. Thanks to Deanna and uh, Kempes, I actually get sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't miss it. How that works. Yeah, I thought I'd miss it, you know, because I was a coffee drinker constantly for how many years? But yeah, once you. It took a couple days to get off of it, though. You kind of yearn for it. But uh, I drink tea now, so. And one cup of my Yeti cup will last me all day because it stays hot.
What is she doing walking in the water? Oh, those are both our people. Yeah, that puffin's a little bit weird. Uh, yeah, let's see. Can't wait till we get horses. I know. Hi, Korak. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you again. Even with horses and donkeys, I still end up walking because I hate staring at another thing. You come over here often enough, Frostbite, and I'm gonna change. I'm gonna turn you into a moderator. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today, Korak? Sorry, I'm in the kitchen making some breakfast, or I'd say hi to you. Yeah. Well, uh, he likes to sit and listen to the stream while he plays his Icarus. Ugh, Snickerus. <laughs> yeah. They'll say you should play it. You nah. never, you never know. Yeah, no, <laughs> I do know. No. <laughs> I absolutely no. So you played the Planet Crafter though, right? I have. I haven't. I played it two years ago and then I just pulled it back up. <laughs> and it's still the same. <laughs> what? Planet Crafter? No. They added a ton of new stuff. And they added new biomes. Uh, I don't know. I Maybe. I don't remember what was in it from two years ago. But I'm telling you, Deanna, it's much more fun multiplayer, though. I uh, mean, I played it in 2022 as a solo, but I played yeah. last night with B-Man, and I'm telling you, it's much more fun uh, playing co-op. Uh, really bad thing. I and just talk to the other people that are playing co-op, and I play my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta argue you with you there. How it is? I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what was in it. I know what's in it now, but it still just annoys me. I'm putting 23 more limestone in the box over here if you want to uh, upgrade some of the houses. I don't know how. Actually, keep it, keep it on you. I'll show you how to do it. I know how to do it. I did it on my single player game. But what I'm going to go do now is cook all this meat that I killed. She right. knows how to do it. She's older than you. She's done it many times. Oh, now go ahead. There's no reason to throw the age in there. The age has nothing to do with it. <laughs> I'm just saying. We've got a lot more experience under our belts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a true story. Um... Are there any alien races or creatures finally in Icarus? Well, I think Icarus... Yeah, there's, yeah, there, there's alien species in it. Man. Yeah. Yeah, sticks in Prometheus, but Pre Prometheus has even more because it's got the lava zone. they got creatures in Prometheus that aren't on the other maps. Yeah. And they're also going to be adding, uh, what is that new biome they're calling? The, what is it? Lo Lo Lafayette? Oh, I've, I've got no idea. Yeah, there's a new one that they're introducing this weekend. Is that this weekend? Yeah, this coming weekend they're going to roll out a new, a new uh, mission, too, apparently, on the map. So, on that Leica map. Yeah, you should pull it out and look at it. I mean, a lot of things changed. I don't know when the last time was that you played it, Nord, but uh, a lot of things have changed. Uh, they have battery power and stuff now, battery networks and uh, uh, bee beehives and everything now for your gardens that make them grow better and faster and yield a lot more. What else do they have in there that uh, first few when it Oh, okay. <laughs> and you haven't been around for a lot of the changes. You weren't, you didn't play the game when they had the wind turbines then either, huh? Hey, 
animal carts. They well, we've been using animal carts on the buffalo pets. They're coming out with new pets too. Yeah, see, Norwolf hasn't even played it since they put the wind turbines in, so he's missed a lot of content. So he yeah. hasn't, yeah, he hasn't gotten the batteries they just introduced, the battery networks, the water networks, the um. What were those those wheel things that we used to put in the water for power? He probably doesn't know about those either. Water wheels. The water wheels. Did you yeah. play with any of the water wheels in Icarus? I don't think you would have had those in the early game. Oh my god, he's missed a lot. That <laughs> big that means he hasn't been in the lava zone or anything. They have new currency now that you can earn too. Exotics and all that. What did I want to put in this box besides the meat? Was that it? Is there anything else that we need to do? I mean, we have eight logs. Do we need to... Is she cutting stuff over there or what? Yes, they're cutting down logs and stuff like this. I've used quite a lot because I just upgraded the hunting logs to the second one. And I put my and coins in the box too, what I had left. And we the... now have one woodcutter doing just logs and one who's doing logs, planks, and firewood. So, so the now, sticks are just too easy. To so get. now if I want to fix my copper tools, I have to go to the smithy room? No, you don't fix them. Once they break, you go to the smithy to make more. Oh. And you'll need some you'll need some copper ingots, some logs or or sticks, depending on the tool. Um this one. You need to go back to the cave and do more mining then, huh? Mm, I think we've got a little bit of copper left, but yeah, we'll have to. Plus, um the excavation shed is actually Bring in copper in as yep. well. Is there somebody running the shed? Yeah, we've got two people in this shed now, so we are actually bringing in. Oh, they're out of tools, actually. We need what the out of pickaxes. I need to make some pickaxes and put them in the thing, and then they'll be all sorted. So I mean, this logs. place is growing fast. So is the time. Wow. It's already 11. See how the time flies when Deanna's in here and chit-chatting with us? <laughs> yeah. Uh, pickaxes. Let's just make... Yeah, carts are part of the pet and creature update. Oh, cool. <laughs> Normal set. That's awesome because I've done that many a time. But you can't do that anymore. The way your torch is put on your hot bar now, it's on your belt. You're literally carrying it on your belt. You no longer carry the torches in your hand. But he said the last time he played, he was holding a torch, hiding by a tree, and he lit the forest fire. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> I have actually done that more than once and died from it, too, because I couldn't get out of the, uh, the forest fast enough. But uh, Korak said they... they uh, Where's the cards that he said they're bringing in? Where I just read that. Again, is not watching chat. Uh, well, that's a good advice, Korak. Yeah, major game structure update. Remember, this weekend they're going to be making it that you have to download the entire game again. Because they changed the structure because of how Steam unpacks their their stuff. Yeah. So don't forget. So we're going to get a new seeding cart, a watering cart, a harvest cart. Yeah. Shannon, honey, hello. Welcome to the chat. Actually, we've got no rock. Yeah, I, I found the hardest thing to do in Icarus was to get hit by lightning. Ask a Kempis. He knows all about that. 
<laughs> trying to get hit by lightning twice to get that badge, that achievement. So where'd you run off to now? We have our pig pen now. What else um, we have? Our chicken coop. Make, uh, we've got all the tools in there. So we got the hen house now. Do we have to actually buy the chickens? I would think so. Yeah, you've got to go to... Each village has different animal traders and you've got to go in and you've got to... Um, you've got to get uh, some from each trader. So one trader will specialize in cows, another will be donkeys, another will be geese, and so on and so on. You've got to go in and buy them from those specific traders. Okay, so we have wheat there, oats, Oops. rye, flax, Oops. beets, onions, cabbages. Where's the carrots? Carrots. You must have ran out of carrots because he has a one whole row and a square here. He hasn't. It says it's there, but maybe it's just a bug. Poppy. I was just talking about poppy seed cake. Uh, cherry trees now. Oh, I see an apple. Do we do we plant pears too? Plums. Yeah, we should have some pears. We have plum trees. Pear trees. What are you? Looks like a pear tree as well. A lot of pear trees. Apple trees. A lot of apple trees too. And then we have our. Do you make beer in this game? Because there's, if you're growing hop plants, I would think that there's beer in the game. Yeah, you can make beer, and then I think you have to have the tavern for that. Oh, there's a tavern we can build too, so that these. Guys get sloshy drunk every night. Better I think so either a tavern or a brewery or something. I think it's called. They better get up for work the next day. <laughs> we don't have any more limestone. Is there is there any limestone quarries or anything around here specifically for them? Um, <clears throat> the excavation sheds bring in limestone in as well. Are we going to have more than one excavation shed, or will one be? sufficient one once we've got um all the other stuff set up um we can put down an extra one but to be fair the insulation it's it, it's not a top priority right now um can i make these in here hmm. no Shannon's playing planet crafter too yeah, it's it's a really fun game. I like it both solo and co-op, but I really liked it better when I played it with B-Man last night. It was so much more fun. I mean, he can do one thing and then I can do something else, whereas if you're by yourself, you're stuck doing both jobs, and it takes twice as long to get your game up. That's some bags. Yeah. Uh... See how fast you ran into that building? You had to go to the bathroom really bad. <laughs> 14 likes. Thanks, guys, for all the likes. I really appreciate it. So it's 11.36, so we got about 24 minutes left before I have to end the stream. Yeah. Um, right, so we got some axes. Got hoes, got knives, got pickaxes, six. Yeah. All right, so rude. We got hoes and knives. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have. I... There, on that. Collect from the bird trap. I don't know how I managed to make 16 stone axes. 16 stone axes. Yeah, I don't know how I made that many, but I actually made 16. Nardwolf wants to know what time you usually start. I usually start the coffee live stream at 10 a.m. in the morning uh, because 
I'm Eastern Standard Time, but Tempest lives in the UK. So when I start at 10 a.m. in the morning, it's actually 3 p.m. in the afternoon where he lives. Um, so yeah, 10 a.m. There are some days if it's there are some, on a weekend, I might go f more longer than two hours because Ricky comes home from work and then goes right outside and plays golf balls. So. Is that every day? Um, no, it's generally a Tuesday and a Friday. I pulled, pulled my subscribers and asked them how many times a week they wanted me to live stream and pretty much two, no more than two was um, the answer. But who knows? If I get new subscribers and they, might, my, they, they don't mind me live streaming every day, we could go every day. I don't really don't care. Okay. Ricky and his ball whacking. He's back playing with his balls again. Yes. At the last Tuesday of this month, he starts at Golf League. So I will be alone on a Tuesday uh, until 7 p.m. at night. So I'll actually probably be live streaming longer on a Tuesday once his golf kicks in. Because I'm home alone. So. Yeah, every day is tough, but I'll tell you what, what's even tougher is making videos on the side. You make a live stream and you're here, the content is what it is, and then when it gets uploaded, you're done. You can walk away from the PC. But when you're doing a game and you're doing tutorials and you're editing, I think the editing time takes longer for me than an actual live stream. So you have to you have to weigh both both ends of it. Two to three days, yeah. Tuesdays and Fridays it is so far. Tuesdays and Fridays are kind of... I don't want to overwork Kempes either, you know? Because <laughs> when I want to play a game and I don't know how to play the game, I don't know what to expect, he's the, he's the dude I call. I did it today. I said, do you own the Planet Crafter? <laughs> I know the game, but it's just more enjoyable with two people. I wouldn't mind playing it with him. But I'm also playing Night Nightingale with Kemp because he he needs to learn that game. Because in August we're doing a um, help me out here, Kemp. Um, charity. A charity. Thank you for cancer. So in August we're doing a charity for cancer, and the girls the girl that's running it wants to play Nightingale, uh, and I need to get him up to par so he knows what to do because it's going to be a race. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Fifteen likes. That's great. Thank you so much. Yeah, when I do videos, it just records specifically for video, less editing. Well, see, with the most of the tor tutorials I've done are for, were for Seven Days to Die and then Icarus. I've done maybe like 73 tutorials, I think, for Icarus. But I can play the game for an hour to two hours in order to do the quest, right? And then I got to take that whole two hour stream and put it into my Camtasia studio and edit the pieces out that aren't important. And I get a two hour stream edited down to anywhere from two to four minutes. Not an easy task. Ah, oh, thank you. That'd be nice. You can even join in on the charity run if you want. If you have Nightingale and you intend to you, you want to play that? That's what she's playing. Want a tip? Aw. Thank you. What tip? What's the tip for today? Never eat yellow snow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Cross your legs when you're wearing a dress. <laughs> Why? Men don't cross their legs when they're wearing Oh my short. God, I'm telling you, the girls that sit down with a dress that don't cross their legs, you can see right up the chute. They I mean, half my hair. family's Scottish, so they don't cross they their don't legs. They don't wear anything under their kilts. Either. <laughs> the yeah. wind catches it and they have a breezy day. Oh, like Marilyn Monroe standing over that vent. Uh, yeah, I'll take a video tip. I What's where she did that on purpose. Well, well, she did. It was a photo shoot. Oh, wow. There you go. If you are using Streamlabs or OBS, I'll well, watch No one it. would on purpose stand over that to get the smelly, steamy train air. That's what I was thinking, because it's, huh. it's 
It's not exactly fresh air that comes out of the subway. It's... Yeah. I think that was just rude of them to make her do that. That's just so gross. I, th I think she's freaking nuts for saying yes. Well, well had... they have a lot of power. She had a lot of mental think. issues, too. She was... Yeah. yeah. She was taking a lot of instruction from a lot of people and not really having a voice of her own, and it mentally... It got to her. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that you could re hit the record button while I'm also live streaming. I did not know that. Yeah, that's how people can turn yeah. their live streams and uh, videos. Yeah, it says it's... Shorts out of it and stuff. Hmm. Huh. Well, I'm going to have to challenge myself to see if I can actually do that. Because I'm telling you... Doing a quest in Icarus for two hours and then chopping it down to a four minute tutorial is not an easy task. It takes, it could take up to six hours to edit that thing. Where are you at? Yeah. I'm just placing down some new house blueprints. Okay. Excuse me. That's the other thing I don't like about Planet Crafter that I found out last night is I can't see the other person that's on the map. And I sent them a report, you know, like feedback and said, you know, if you can make it so that I can see everybody I'm playing the game with on the map, it would be nice. Because you got somebody saying, oh, come over here to where I am. You, look at look at what I found. And I, I don't know where they are. Well, once you have the compass, they just say come southeast, southwest. And they'll put up a beacon. You can follow the hexagons. They put them in different colors. Right. Like my home is purple and. Yeah, I have that too, like caves marked out, my home marked out. But uh, when I first played the game, you could make the beacons, but you couldn't name them. Apparently now you can name them. Um, but the compass really still doesn't help you because depending on where I am in the map and where he is in the map, he has to know what direction I'm standing in in order for him to direct me to where he's at. Well, no, basically you say I'm southeast from home so you know which way home is so you just direct yourself accordingly to where you know home is you face home and yeah they say they're this way you turn it's it's not that hard right and i played a lot i played 150 158 hours at planet crafter i think um but I didn't like the fact that when my trees grew, they grew all around my base. And it was it was a nightmare because some of the leaves came through, you know, the side of my base. And now when the trees grow, they grow out way, way out in the distance. And they don't actually come close to your base until they're almost done growing, you know, with the spreader. I wish... I could tell my trees to go away and, and have them, re, you know, rebuild. Can we get another day? <laughs> <laughs> also, sometimes I play back my live video from YouTube. <clears throat> oh, my God. That was, oh, my God. I never even thought of doing that. But last night, I did have to download last week's video, Kemp, in order for me to do the pin-up for the thumbnail today. Oh, yeah. Because... Remember, I was moving everything over from my hard drive to the external yeah. drive. And somehow last week's MP4 from our stream got deleted. I don't know how I managed to do it, but I did. And so I had to go to YouTube last night and download the whole thing. Oh. And it t for some reason, I, I know people complain about how long it takes to upload your videos to YouTube. It takes longer to download them from YouTube than it does upload them. Yeah, it only took me five minutes to download uh, download it, but it takes right. over. Oh, it takes an hour, if not more, for YouTube to actually turn it into high definition video. Yeah, it's. Uh, they definitely, for a company whose who's main income is uploading and downloading videos to the internet, you would think they would have the capabilities of doing uploads and downloads so much faster. Like, it is the core of that business. But it takes so long sometimes for people to just 
render and upload that video. It's crazy. Well, our two-hour live stream last week only took me five minutes to download, but it takes a heck of a lot longer to upload it. Yeah, it's it's strange because whenever I've tried to download a video from YouTube, it takes forever. But I don't know why I didn't think of doing that, playing the video on YouTube and then just recording the screen. Because I have done that for when I went to... Uh, when it took online I mean, it's classes, a thumbnail, that's that that's fine. But if you are wanting the save file, you are best not doing that because sometimes it can affect the quality of the the video that you're getting. What and downloading it, it? No, if you're recording a screen. Oh yeah. Sometimes it can, and it can also it can mess with like things like the metadata and things like this and stuff like that. So if you want to use it for evidence in a trial one day. That'll have no metadata. Oh. We just got Woodshed level 2. Woodshed level 2? I thought we got that earlier. Oh, that was hunting. Oh. So now, we can upgrade our Woodshed so they'll produce more and we can put more workers in there. I think that's how it works anyway. Do we have enough... Uh... Reputation or to get more workers? Oh, yeah, we just need more houses. Okay. But, um, that's why I was putting down the blueprints. Oh my god. What? Well, I just realized you put down 12 more <laughs> houses. 12 more houses. Yep. yep. What we do need, though, is we need to do a rot run. So we need to go out into the wilderness and get lots of mushrooms, berries, um, anything that will turn into rot. Anything that will turn into rot. I did put rot in the in the building over there. The I had I was carrying some rot on me. Apparently, stuff rotted on my person. Yeah, it will do. And the resource thing is stamping out track. <laughs> it says, Frostbite says that you are stamping out tracked housing. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a video that took over two hours to upload to YouTube, and I have good internet and I have a good, a good connection. Oh, yeah. But it has to be something on YouTube's end. It shouldn't have taken that long to upload. Especially, I've got amazing internet. Yeah. And yeah, especially for my area and where I am, I've got amazing internet. And sometimes it still can take me days to download a YouTube video, which is why I never download a YouTube video ever anymore. I used to download them all the time. And then when I was going away and I was out and about, I could watch them whenever I wanted, like if I was going away to a horse event or something. But. Now, I don't bother because it just takes so long to download them. It's just not worth it. I like Nordwolf's idea, though, if I wanted. I never thought of that, you know. It might be easier watching the video and skipping the video to the parts that I want to record yeah. and just uh, oh, out of stone already. All that stone that I gathered, it, it, it done gone through it already. Yeah. Uh, so we need... 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. I don't know if I have any logs. Not enough to finish a house, I can tell you that. I'm just getting all of these berries. Yeah, no, I'll. Well, I'm not sure I want to sit here and do this on stream again. It just made them go through. I might have to do this off stream. The only problem is well, that when we do stuff off stream so that you guys don't have to sit and watch us pound on stone, we could actually get to the next season because the season only lasts three days. Yeah. Well, actually, what you could do is you could go pay our taxes. Do we have taxes already? Yeah, we're going to pay taxes. It's spring. I completely forgot. Oh, yeah. Do we have money so to pay taxes? Take that shit off. 
I hope. I, I hope we should have one. Um, check the resource storage. We have six hundred and seventy-nine dollars and twenty cents. So, how much are our taxes? Um, <laughs> are they more than six hundred and seventy-nine dollars? Oh, they're no, usually five, a thousand, I think. Five hundred and twenty-three and a half. <laughs> what? So, so we just got enough. So. If you want, you can go into town and pay them. <laughs> Where do I pay them at? Um, Hi. Yeah, Ta when you get into town on your compass, there'll be like a scroll with a uh, exclamation mark. Yeah. He's the guy you got to pay the taxes to. The one with the funny haircut. Got like a ball cut. I think. I well, I have an exclamation like... point and a piece of paper, but. What yeah, is... that. that... I think that's the guy. What is that thing up there? Can you see my screen? Um, well, I'm not, okay, my my stream's behind a little bit. Hold on. Oh, no. If you go in your journal, um, there's a side quest called Pay Taxes. If you track it, it'll be a yellow exclamation point that you've got to go to. That's how you... What? Where's all this stuff coming from? Failed quest. Here's one. Recent events. I don't see anything for paying taxes. On the first tab. Mm -hmm. On the active quests. So, uh, there should be a, a second category down should be side quests. Yeah, but they both say zero. Oh, so uh, I think it's because I'm hosting. I'm, I'm the one that's got the quest hmm. to pay taxes. I'll come and I'll show you. All right. Well, I got the money on me, so yeah, when you get here, I'll drop it. No, no, you can still pay the taxes, but I think I've got. Uh, I, I think I'm the only one that actually gets the quest for some reason. They'll have to fix that because uh, that's no good. And we've got a worker that's not happy with something. Right, so follow me. There he is. There he's running away. This guy here. Yeah. And you just pay the taxes. Okay. Pay the taxes. Woo that was a guy that was mean to me at the beginning of the game. Yeah, <laughs> that's the guy. Hey Digger Payne, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Maybe you yeah, attack this more you build higher the tax. I don't know. He might record UHD. Good morning. It's still morning here for the next five minutes. Oh my god, we got a lot of people that showed up today. So many streamers. I have to add them to the command list now. Or forget. Yeah, I've already done the fish trick. That's okay. But yeah, now we can go back to the village. My name is Mira God anyway. I mean, it's... Dude's a tax collector. He's not a god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get. Actually, I'm gonna put these mushrooms and stuff. I'll put the rest of the coin back in the box. Got 155 coin left and 60 cents. Gonna have to make money. Go fishing. What what'd you say? Go fishing. Get yourself some fish. Actually yeah, you have to catch pike in order for it to be worthy of fishing. Pike gets the most when money. Is, uh, when is the what? The shirt, we should have some pike coming in somewhere. 
Oh, Ricky's going to be knocking on your door in a couple minutes. Yeah, he's got, uh, usually comes in at 12.03, 12.05, something like that. So yeah, we're going to have to end the stream shortly because Ricky's yeah. coming home and I have to spend time with him for lunch because that's why he's coming here to spend his lunch with me. He eats, I just sit, you know, keep him company while he eats. <laughs> Don't eat much lunch. I'm a bad girl. Actually, let's take that. How's your week going so far, Digger? Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do those add commands because to be able to share links with people. Um, Girl, they're not a spell. Words, they're hard. Go visit my buddy Nordwolf and Frostbite and Dragon. I'll have to put Fortazar and Nordwolf, but all I had to do was copy and paste, so it was still in the Control V. But next stream, we'll have those guys add it automatically. I'll have to go over to your YouTube channel now and subscribe too. You better click that now. <clears throat> I subscribe to your new YouTube channel now. Woohoo! Make, <laughs> make sure I hit the bell too. You, you have to go to some of his live streams. He's talks about all kinds of stuff. He's, I like watching him play. Uh, what was it? I watched him play Scum one day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nordwolf, but I laughed my ass off. It was so funny. That was a good stream. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> all right. Give me all these planks and logs. Let's get these upgraded. Are you ready for me to end the stream now? Yeah, you can do. Okay. I'm just upgrading the woodsheds to level two. Oh, okay, cool. Cause... Ramada popped in and said, hello. Bamana, hi. How are you doing? That sounds for that's that's McSire, isn't it? Don't know. Thanks, Norval. Yeah, I think Bamana is McSire, is it not? Oh, he's a viewer. Okay, never mind. My bad. That's why it didn't come up, because I thought I put McSire in. <laughs> but that is McSire. You can go visit McSire, too. I put him in there, too, as well. Uh, yeah, Nordwolf, it was really nice to see you. And I'm so glad that you showed up. And I promise I'll come to more of your chat streams, because I love them so much. McSire is Stephen Hart. No, not too bad. And Bomata. Oh, Bomata was the one that I played. I played with you and Drunken on Enshrouded. Is that who? Is That's that her? okay. She's been pounding stone so much. <laughs> a little rattled. 
I'm glad I got to see another live stream. Thank you, Christian. It's always a pleasure to have everybody here. Yep, I thought so. I played in Shrouded with him. We helped, uh, Amana and I helped uh, Dragon do one of the fights of power. Remember, Dragon, I told you Dragon lived in the swamp. <laughs> so he had to do his fights of power in the swamp. So we did, uh... yeah, so we helped him. <clears throat> Big hooks to everyone. Thanks for hanging out. Aw, yeah. I want to thank everybody for coming here. Remember to hit that like button if you haven't already done so. If you didn't, subscribe to the channel. Now would be a good time to do it. Um, I also have a Discord. I need a lot more people over there who love to talk. Because people just don't <laughs> chit-chat much. I feel like Deanna, Christian, Horak, and myself are the only ones that ever talk over there. Well, sometimes Kempis decides to talk too. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. Come back again. I don't know. Do you want to do this again on Friday, Kemp, or you want to wait to see how your tooth situation goes? Um, we'll see how my tooth goes, but if all goes well, then yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah, so if we're all for Friday, then I'll probably post it Thursday night just so you guys know. It'll be another 10 o'clock in the morning live stream Eastern Standard Time. And until then, I want to thank you all guys for showing up here. I love you guys so much. Until we see you again, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Say bye, campus. Bye. <laughs>